Stu the Wine Guru. Stu, uh, it's good to have you in Key West. Good to be here. Thanks so much, Terry. T tell us a little bit about what it's like being the wine guru and how you go about it. Sure, sure. Well, in essence, what it is is I, I had started a, uh, a radio show called Wine Talk with Stu the Wine Guru about a year back. It's on the internet and uh, it's international. It took off in the first three months and uh, now I have people who tweet and email and um, call into the show to ask questions of all the top winemakers that I have from around the world that come on my show. I also started a thing called the Top Chefs of the Nation and all the top chefs, in fact, Andrew Zimmern from uh, Bizarre Foods is gonna be on in April. Oh good. Uh, yeah, and um, I also added in what we call the Music Meets Wine series and what that is is wow. this is all top musicians and um, artists that have either their own wine label for instance, I had on Roger Earl of Foghat. Uh, oh, really? Group, who has his <laughs> own his own uh, his own Foghat cellars, um, and I'm going to continue with that series. I always so, wondered what happened to those guys. Yeah, no they're still around. Well. No, actually, they're still around. So, and and so the show goes out. Like I said, to I have tens of thousands of listeners every week. Um, I'm contributing to uh, NBC. They have a, a they're launching a new uh, network called Miami Nonstop. It's going to be 24 oh, wow. hours seven. And I'm going to be doing your wine list, whereby they go and they go out to different restaurants mm -hmm. and eat food, and then they uh, have me recommend the wines to pair with that. What's your background, Stu? How did you become so knowledgeable about wine? Ah, uh, well, actually, it's a funny thing. I was in the, the music business for many years for Warner Brothers, and I had gone out to San Francisco uh, with a prospective client who said, "Hey, you know, this is like 15 years ago." I said, "You know what? We should have some Cabernet with our dinner, our lunch." And I said, "Okay, fine." Was not a wine drinker. Mm -hmm. um, had this Cabernet and it was like a light switch went off. Wow. And from there, I've traveled the world. I've been to all the top wineries and vineyards, uh, went into the vineyards with the winemakers and actually picked the grapes and that's, learned. That's a good way to learn, uh, yeah. That was it, and, and I've sampled enough around the world to know what I like, what I don't yeah. like. But do you, do you have a focus or are you, are you worldwide or do you I'm specialize worldwide. mostly on California wine? Oh, or? no, no, I'm, I, I've had on everyone from um, uh, James Hall, actually of Patson Hall in mm -hmm. California to uh, Francesco uh, Ricasoli, who mm -hmm. has Ricasoli wines in Italy to uh, Spain. I've had on uh, many winemakers from Saints all around. Do, do you go to a lot of these festivals? Uh, actually, this is the first one I've done for Key West. I've been to the Miami International Wine Fair. Uh -huh. I'll be going to Sobe. I'll be at the South Beach one. I'm mm -hmm. also going to be at Boca, Boca Bacanal in Boca, and I'm starting to expand that. I'm looking to go to uh, Pro Wine in Dusseldorf. Oh, wow. So that's, wow. that's the next one. Well, we, uh, we, like, we, we like to think our, our, our festival is a kind of a funky local uh, local event. It's not quite as uh, as a, uh, professional as some of the bigger ones, but we have a lot of fun here. So. It's fan I have to tell you, and I, I want to make sure that everyone listening that, that watches you, Terry, knows that this is a fantastic event that I highly recommend. Um, and I'm going to have a, a recap show on Monday. I'll be talking about it, so you can go to stewthewineguru.com and That's check great. It out. That's great. Well, thanks so much for being here, Stu. Cheers. Cheers.